Howdy, this dude RV. Speaking of RV. Pardon the background noise, I can't do anything about the highway, but today I find myself at Lathrop State Park in Colorado. So I got the scooter, I got the GoPro, I got an action plan. So we're gonna go take a look at this very cool Colorado State Park. And I have been very impressed with Lathrop State Park. Here we go. I'm going to zip up here. If you want to pause and look at this map, you can. You can also do your research online. There's two lakes here. And lots of campsites. This gate is kind of screwy. They got that uh, boat inspection station up at the front with nobody in it. All right. Apparently there's hunting going on. That guy had a deer. The air is so dry, my Texas lips are cracking. One of the things that I'm really excited about, this is the one of the few parks outside of the state of Texas that I've been to that actually has a scooter friendly path that goes all the way around both lakes it's fresh concrete i'm gonna have to accelerate the timeline since little red is not going very fast these days we got somebody that wants to get by so we're gonna go up here and look at the non-electric sites it's gonna be a little rough so these are going to be perfect for Leon. The vault toilet. A lot of these campsites have this metal half shelter as you can see right there there is communal water scattered throughout the campground I get much much traction <laughs> these sites are really close to the highway just saying it'll be loud That's that. All right. Now we're going to go see the RV sites. There is a golf course here. So if you're into whacking little, little balls around on green grass, this will be a good place to come play golf.
wasn't here when we came in. This is the spillway for the lake. I don't know how deep this lake is and how often this spillway is fully involved. But I would imagine when it rains here, it really rains. Because we are in the high desert. Everybody, everybody looks at the guy on the scooter with the camera. Look how pretty that is. I'm hoping we're going to see a really starry sky tonight because we are quite a ways away from any really big town. There is a town right up here, not too far, about two miles away, but I don't think it's going to be a real bright glow. Such a pretty day. It is October, no, yeah, October 1st, 2019. In case you're wondering. See, that's a lot of green grass out here in the desert when everything else is brown. Where does the water come from? Is it from the lake? Did they build the lake to water the golf course? Seems kind of like a waste to me, but I'm not a golfer. The youth fishing pond. Miniature golf. Now we're talking. We'll come back to that later. We're coming up on the Pinon Campground. This is where you'll bring your RV. There's three loops. And I don't think they have any water sites. They're all just electric sites. They do have communal water where you can top off your tank. A little hump to get over here. There's an on-site, if you arrive and the gate is closed, or the front office is closed, there's a place right here on our left, and we'll see that when we come back by here. You'll be able to get a good look at it, but that's where you would do your self-registration. Now the restrooms on all three loops have two showers on one side and two toilets on the other side. Each loop has at least one ADA compliant campsite. And what that means, in case you don't know, ADA is the American with Disability Act, and an ADA campsite is all concrete. 
so that they have wheelchair access. And you do have to have a handicapped parking pass to take advantage of those sites. That's a cool little rig right there. That's gonna make Leon jealous. I don't know what those people are picking up. Pine nuts, maybe? So there's where you would register after hours. There's a dump station. It's a two-holer. They also have a fresh water spigot there. So if you arrive and your tank is empty, you can just whip up there and top off. All right, so we're gonna come back to this loop. We'll go all the way to the last loop and come back. Playground. Bit of a hill here, so we're we're crawling up hill. Of course, since uh, the beginning of this trip, we've been crawling everywhere on Little Red. If you're a scooter technician and you live in the Dallas area, man, reach out to me. Post a comment down there. I'd like to pay you to work on my little scooter. Since uh, Triad won't work on it anymore. See, that's a communal water spigot there, but, you know, it says not to stay permanently connected to the communal water spigots. So knowing what I know now, the D-loop is where I would be set up, mainly because of the, the view of the mountain, mountain range. And I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example. See, look at that view. And this is a handicap site, by the way. Momentary pause in production. I don't know how much, how long that was hanging there. Hopefully not very long. The microphone fell out. That, in case you're wondering what I'm talking about. What are you talking about, dude? Makes no sense. Oh, there's that, there's that view. Two more loops. As we head into the wind. Had to do a battery swap on the camera. Let's 
sea loop. And if we were cruising through here earlier, Yappy made the observation that sometimes it's hard to tell where the street is and where the camping loops are. Totally different country here than where we were down in Martin Dyes Junior State Park territory. Slip around the Vegas here. One more camping loop, one more RV friendly loop, and then we'll close this out. Now in the experiential video, I'm going to go and pay a visit to the miniature golf course and explore that concrete trail that goes all the way around both lakes. So if you want to see more about Lathrop State Park, Click on that button over there that says subscribe. And I'll have a playlist for Colorado State Parks. Make it easy for you to find. I'm also going to go and ask those people what it is they're picking up off the ground. Alrighty then. That is all there is to it. Hey, I sure appreciate y'all coming along for the ride. Man, these are always so much fun. Even, even though Little Red is not running as fast as she normally does. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, give me one of those thumbs up and blast me out across social media. If, you've not, if this is your first time to Dude RV, click on the subscribe button and remember to hit the bell as well. That way you'll never miss another production from Dude RV. I do post videos every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Central Time. For those of you who have been following and have already subscribed, thank you. I am so very honored. I wouldn't be doing this, or would not have been doing it for this long if it wasn't for people cheering me on and enjoying, saying they enjoy what I do. And I enjoy doing it for you. So thank you very much for watching. Last thing I got to say is y'all come back now, you hear?